Great. So um, I guess to kick things off, I just want to take you through um, the, we call it the APSS form, but it's essentially just to understand any risks that you may have before we start exercising. So um, things like your health, um, current fitness, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So no pressure, no right or wrong answers, just be completely honest as we work through this um, and then we can chat a bit about your results. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. So I'll get started. Um, so name, obviously, Xavier. Yeah. Great. Um, and your date of birth? Is the 1st of the 9th, 1996. Yeah, great. Cool. And today's date is the 15th of October. Great. So now I'm going to ask you some kind of basic, straightforward questions. So just let me know as we go through. Um, yeah. So have you ever been told you have uh, a heart condition or uh, any kind of stroke? No, like no. No. Do you have, uh, have you ever experienced pain in your chest or anything during exercise? No. Good. Do you ever have faint or dizzy spells during exercise or loss of balance? No. Great. Have you had an asthma attack uh, requiring immediate uh, medical attention in the past 12 months? No. Any asthma? No. no. Um, do you have uh, diabetes? No. 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 Any uh, diagnosed muscle, bone, joint issues? No. Anything like that? No. no. And do you have any other medical things that may inhibit your uh, ability to exercise that I've not listed or anything else? No, no. Fantastic. Nice and low risk. Great. And then we'll just move on to stage two. Um, so I'll just ask you a couple more questions. So thanks again for your time here. That's all right. So your age is? Yeah, it is uh, 24. 24. And your male, please? Yep, I am. Do you have any family history of heart disease or so anything like stroke or heart attack? My father had a stroke um, later on in life, I think 65, or something like that, but that's about the, that's the only thing I'm aware of. Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing. Do you smoke at all? No. no. And are you exercising at the moment in your current kind of... Only, only monetary, a lot like monetary, um, moderate, yeah. um, probably around, around three hours a week. Is that like three one-hour sessions? Yeah, or, three, yeah, yeah okay, sorry, perfect. three one-hour no, sessions. No, no, that's yeah. perfect, thank you. Great. Um, and how tall are you? 186 centimetres. Yeah. And your weight? 76. Perfect. Six. Uh, have you been told you have high blood pressure at all? No. Fantastic. Uh, and cholesterol? No. Great. Um, and how about your blood sugars? Any issues there? No. 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 Fantastic. Um, have you ever spent time in hospital um, due to any sort of conditions in the past 12 months? No. No, easy. Are you taking any medications? No. Um, <laughs> are you pregnant or have given birth? I'm assuming that's no. probably a no. Uh, do you have any muscle, uh, bone or joint pain that is worse when you exercise? No. Great. Fantastic. So, uh, based on your results today, that is a low risk factor, which is great. So it just means there's not, I guess, too much of a high risk that we need to send you to a doctor for clearance for, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to get started today oh, with your cool. program, which is yeah. awesome. So before we get started, I know you're very excited to do so. Um, I just want to chat to you, I guess, a bit more about your goals. So we want to uh, do a personal training profile. So this is just really understanding what you're currently doing, what you're aiming for, um, and how we can get you there, essentially. Okay. So pretty basic form. Um, so your name is Xavier, obviously, birthday is 1st of the 9th, 1994. Um, your occupation, what would you say you are at the moment? Yeah, I'm a student. Okay, yeah. great, yeah. And what is your address? Uh, 2574 King Street, Sydney. Yeah, great, and that's postcode 2000, is it? Yeah. Fantastic. And your phone number? Uh, phone number is 0526. Yeah. Two seven five yep. four eight seven. Great. And your email? Uh, email is Xavier dot yep. feelgood. Yep. At gmail dot com. Great. And who would your emergency contact be? Uh, that'll be Sarah. Yep. Sarah Feelgood. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Great. And what's her contact number? <laughs> if you can remember it. <laughs> I don't know if I can remember numbers off the top of my head. Yeah, 0426-275-487. Yeah. 
fantastic, just in case. Great, so from your APSS results we just went through, your cost is low risk, which is fantastic. Um, so now we can get into some fun stuff. So around your health and fitness goals. So we want to kind of start to build like smart goals, so that makes sense. So specific, uh, measurable, actionable, uh, realistic, and timely. So yeah. not too, um, I guess, critical for you to remember that, but let's start to build that out. So um, what would you say your, your overall goal is? Um, uh, just to gain about uh, nine kilos of weight. Well, yeah. actually, yeah, nine kilos of muscle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. great. So that's specific, which is awesome. Um, and I guess measurable as well with the nine kilos. That's yeah. nice and easy. Um, and then actionable. So how do we think we're going to get there? So what would your priority be? Uh, probably strength training and resistance. Perfect. Yeah. 100% makes sense. Um, ah, realistic. Um, so as far as sort of uh, time frames, what would you say that would be? So when's your goal? Uh, around three months. Yep, great. So yeah, I'd say that's definitely a realistic goal. Um, we'll need to work hard, obviously, because nine months, yep. nine kilos is a lot, and try to gain muscle and not just fat. But um, we can definitely aim for that. That's great. So what do you think? And you've already touched on this, but that you need to be successful um, in this goal. Uh, would be the training. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and the diet, I guess. Yep. And whatever you say to do, um, like diet wise or food wise, or yeah, yep. I'll, I'll do, yeah. Perfect, easy. Um, and then, is there any barriers that you would say might kind of inhibit or prevent your success? Um, I suppose um, experience yep. with the whole, this whole process and probably money. Yep, yeah, of course, yes. yeah. Give you a risk to you, yeah. I guess, yeah, makes yeah. perfect sense. Great, and then, um, so you've already kind of commented on this, but you are currently exercising, that's correct? Yeah. And that was the three times, one hour per week. Yeah, that one. yeah. Fantastic. And of these intensity levels, I know you mentioned before, moderate, do you think that's accurate? Yeah, I think that's accurate, yeah. Fantastic. You have not been pregnant recently? No. Of course. Um, and you take no medication, you mentioned? No. Have you had any of the following health conditions? So you can have a look at the at the list. If there's anything there that stands out to you, it would be great to know. No, that's all. No, it's all no to all of that. Great, easy. And are you currently seeing any of the mel uh, medical professionals? Are you seeing a general practitioner, personal trainer, podiatrist, anything no. like that? No. No. And so I know you mentioned that you're a student, um, so how active would you say your day-to-day -day job is from these? Oh, sort of training? zero, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Easy. And then how active is your day overall? Light, yeah, yeah light yeah. activity. Good moving around, yeah. but not, yep, makes sense. And how much sleep are you getting per night? Yes, around seven. Okay, yeah, yeah. so not too bad. A little bit more Maybe noise, more, good, but yeah. yeah, that's still fine, yep. And then have you been physically restricted by your health in the past month at all? No. Great. And have you been emotionally affected by your health at all? No. Awesome. And then um, which of these accurately describes your diet? Do you feel it's healthy? Do you feel there's some changes? Um, or that you feel you never have a number of changes to make? I think there's a few um, areas I could improve on, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So just a couple of things here yeah. and there. So I said you will um, be doing a nutritional consult, which we can uh, do, which we'll do um, yep. today. So no problem there. So how much time do you think that you can commit per week to your exercise plan? Um, probably three, three one-hour sessions, maybe. Yeah, that's yep. perfect. Yeah, that'd yep. be great to hit your goals with that, and then the fact you're playing your squash as well. Yeah, um, it's super realistic. Um, and which of these times a day do you prefer to exercise? Uh, the afternoons easier. Yep. Yep. Easy. And any preferred days of those for your three days? I like to split it up. Maybe do like a Wednesday, Thursday, and then yep. a, a day in the on the weekend, preferably Sunday, probably. Yeah. Yep. Easy. That's good. Yeah, it's good to have some rest days before yeah. you have to recover. 
Um, and which of these exercises um, interest you? Because obviously we want to have a goal, uh, a program that you enjoy mm -hmm. and you want to do. So which of these would you prefer? Uh, the walking and running is yeah. good and the weight machines and free weights and yeah, general sport, not so much anything else. Yep, yep. great, makes sense. Um, and what intensity are you interested in exercising at? Uh, moderate to high. Okay, yeah. cool, you like to, yeah. get a, you like to keep yeah. going. Yeah. Uh, any activities not interest you? Uh, swimming. Okay. I don't really, not a fan. Fair enough. Yeah. It's polarizing, I'm not a fan mm -hmm. either. Great, um, so I know that I've asked you for a couple of numbers, so mm -hmm. I'll just get those off you now to enter into the form. You said you've had a check-up with your GP recently, so have yeah. all of this, these figures, which is always very helpful. Yeah. Um, so what is your resting heart rate? Uh, 68. Great, Good, nice and fit. Yep. And how about your resting blood pressure? Uh, 110 over 80. Awesome, good, good. Uh, and we've already calculated your BMI today, which is 22, so that's yep. great. And um, your hip girth? Uh, 86 centimetres. Yep. And how about your waist? Uh, 75. 75, great. Which gives you a waist to hip ratio of 0.9, which is good to see. Um, okay, fantastic. So I'll um, just have a quick look at your posture. So I know we've done a full postural assessment. Mm -hmm. Just give you a quick look for this to make sure that there's no big kind of red flags or anything like that um, that, that come up. So. If you're comfortable just to stand comfortably, feet wherever they fall, yeah. arms wherever they fall, no problem. I'll move this chair for the video. <laughs> cool, yeah, so just stand there and don't mind me just looking oh, up and okay. down. Um, I'll just make sure that you're all good. So I'm just checking your shoulder position, if you're reasonably uh, aligned. You very straight, really great shoulder position, which is fantastic, especially for a student at a desk. You're doing very well. Um, Good. Yeah, fantastic. Have a quick side. Yep. Cool. Okay. Just confirms what we already know. Great. And based on our functional movement screen that we've done as well, we know you have really good hip, knee, ankle mobility, um, and that you're quite comfortable with all the movements. So just like to, you know. Um, identify here if you do have any postural abnormalities or any challenges that we can work on that through our program. Yep. Given that you're all good, we can really just focus in on that goal. Okay. Cool. Muscle, which is fantastic. So um, I'll just get you to sign uh, my form. If you're comfortable to do that, just, uh, just here's fine. Fantastic. Okay, great. Cool. So we'll kick into the next session. Cool. Uh, thank thank you. you.